everyone, thanks for joining University TV. I'm Jessica. And I'm LaVon. We're in front of the sample gates here at Indiana University, home of the Hoosiers. And what better way to get this tour started than the campus's main entry? Let's get going. Let's go to it. Indiana University is located 50 miles south of Indianapolis in Bloomington, Indiana, blending a vibrant community and a small town atmosphere. Uh, you're within driving distance to Cincinnati, Indianapolis, uh, Columbus, you could drive to Madison or Chicago. Um, and since we're part of the Big Ten Network, there's all sorts of opportunities sporting-wise if you want to follow your team. Here on 4th Street, we have the largest concentration of ethnic restaurants, more so than anywhere else. IU Auditorium has major, major people coming here all the time. Bill Cosby's coming next year. Mamma Mia's been here. Uh, basically, any Broadway show you're going to see is going to be here. And great influential and political figures have been here as well. IU's campus has about 1,800 acres and is widely recognized as one of the most beautiful college campuses in the country. And make sure you guys check out this Arboretum. Students come here to meet up with friends and to study. Or you can take a power nap between classes. LaVon, what are you doing? We gotta get this tour started. There are more than 30,000 undergrads at IU. 52% are female, 48% male, and 11,000 are students of color. The average class size is 34 with an 18 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Transfer from a school with 2,000 students and coming to IU with over 40,000, you have so many more opportunities. At a smaller school, you see the same faces every single day. At the larger school, you see new people, you get to meet new people all the time. One of the reasons that I'm still at Indiana University is because I love my students. They're a lot of fun. They're go-getters. They're very hungry for knowledge. Admissions to IU is selective. The average critical reading and math SAT is 1210, ACT composite score is 26, and the average GPA is at 3.6 on a 4.0 scale. Indiana is going to make the admissions decision based primarily on the student's academic profile. That combination of college prep courses, a strong senior year, consistent grades, a solid grade point average, and standardized test scores. I had to make a stop by the Herman B. Wells statue, past university chancellor. Rumor has it, you shake his hand, your time here at Indiana will be a success. Indiana resident tuition is roughly $8,000 annually. For non-residents, $25,000 and housing ranges between $6,500 and $8,000. When a student applies for admission, they are automatically considered for automatic scholarships. So when a student applies and is admitted in the actual letter of acceptance will be information about the scholarships they'll be awarded. IU offers 183 majors and 332 degree programs. Coming in at 18, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I started out as a physical therapy major and graduated as a business major in marketing advertising. So I was able to, my freshman and sophomore year, really explore a lot of different classes and really figure out what my niche was. A few student favorites are business, psychology, exploratory, and education. I use Jacobs School of Music as one of the world's premier music schools. It's got 30 ensembles and present more than 1,100 performances a year. Indiana University employs 1,943 full-time faculty and 366 part-time members, of which 1,585 hold a doctorate. All professors are incredibly influential. They're all research professors, so while they teach, they also research as well. So that's a great little commodity we have here. Make sure you show your Hoosier spirit by checking out any one of Indiana's 24 varsity athletic teams that play in the Big Ten Athletic Conference. The Hoosiers have won 23 NCAA team championships as well as 158 Big Ten team championships. That's like a lot of championships. Yeah. School spirit is all about um, Crimson Crimson. And I like to go to the football games because they're a lot of fun. You've got people really involved in that. But basketball is a huge sport here. It's a ton of fun to go to the basketball games. Indiana has 11 residence halls that are grouped into three neighborhoods. You know, if you'd rather live with someone that shares your interests, you can check out the Living Learning Centers. I've had a roommate from Alaska, Tokyo, Japan. I've had a roommate from Maryland, um, California, basically anywhere and everywhere. Join one of Indiana's fantastic recreational sports programs, go Greek, or be a part of one of the 1,200 musical performances each year. Don't just sit around, do something inspiring. You can join any club, any organization, 
imaginable. And if there's not one that fits your style, you can create your own as well. It's very easy to create your own. The Little 500 is a big deal here at IU. Um, it's a bike race. It's a whole week of events. People get together, concerts, a lot of artists come down. You can watch the different sororities and organizations compete. It's a really interesting race and a really interesting to see how campus just kind of turns up the volume. So if you're ready to start off your college career on the right note, Follow that tune straight to Indiana University today. We've had a great time here at Indiana University, but I guess it's already time for us to go. IU has a beautiful campus and plenty of Hoosier spirit to go around. Hey, like they say here in Bloomington, go IU. Go Hoosiers. For University TV, I'm LaVon. And I'm Jessica. We'll catch you next time.